What's up everybody? It is Carmen and Darius here with Wealth Nation and we want to share with you a question that was brought to us on Instagram. We get this question a lot and we thought that it would be really good to share it with you and it really relates to the first rule in infinite banking which is paying yourself first. So go ahead Darius. I feel like you can set financial goals but if you're lacking the funds to reach them how in ways can you save effectively with the cost of living and leisure? That question is twofold. Uh, first thing is lacking the funds to reach your goals. The lack of funds is just a symptom. It's not the root cause. There's something beneath the surface that may need your attention or uh, it, it very well needs your attention uh, mm -hmm. because you, you have this, this symptom of, of lack of money. So are you making enough money to pay for your lifestyle or are you not making enough money to pay for your lifestyle? If you're making enough money to pay for your lifestyle, but you still have a lack of money, that means that your lifestyle is just maybe too expensive, or maybe you are living above your, living means. Above your means. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Simple. If you aren't making enough to support your lifestyle, then you may have to consider finding different ways to make more money. Or do you even know your worth? Do you even know your worth? Yeah, because um, to address that, I think sometimes we are underpaid for our value and we're just okay with it because we have a job or we have some money coming in. Mm -hmm. So it's really challenging yourself to understand your worth, make sure that you're in tune with your mindset, that you have a growth mindset to make sure that you are earning the capital that you deserve. Yeah, we, we leave a lot of money on the table for comfort. Yes. <laughs> Do we ever. But um, I think one thing that um, with the, the question that we can address is this all has to do with being in tune with your spending. Mm -hmm. So um, like Darius said, if you're making enough to afford your lifestyle and are just overspending, we can address that. And then if you aren't making enough, that's something that we can address as well. Right. But when it comes down to it, are you managing your spending? Do you have a spreadsheet? Do you have a budget? Are you writing the numbers down? Or are you just swiping and paying people and not realizing where your money is going? Mm -hmm. And I know when I say budget, a lot of people cringe and don't really like the fact of having a budget. But really, a budget isn't to su suppress your spending. It's to understand your spending. Mm -hmm. We want you to have fun. We want you to do all the things that you love to do. But you do have to play within a certain realm. And that's just by your income. Mm -hmm. um, so what I would suggest totally is really understanding where your money is going every single day, every single month, and just making sure that you are spending on the things that mean the most to you mm -hmm. and you're not just being frivolous. Right. So I'll read the question one more time just to ensure that we answered it. I feel that you can set financial goals, but if you're lacking the funds to reach them, how in ways can you save effectively with the cost of living and leisure? So yeah, I think we got it because mm -hmm. we talked about um, being able to set financial goals and how do you obtain those funds. You first can obtain the funds by just understanding your spending. And understanding your worth. Exactly. And then um, just being able to afford the cost of living and leisure. All goes down to where are you spending, where is that money going, and can it be reallocated to some of those leisure things that you enjoy doing or maybe to some of your bills. Right. Especially if you spend a lot of money on interest. Interest, uh, on average, we spend about 20% of our income on interest payments to someone else. Yeah. So if you're, if a lot of your money is going towards interest payments, then maybe that's something that we can uh, take a look at so that you can have those funds be going towards your savings instead of out the door to someone else. True. Very good point. And it's all about, um, when we talk about infinite banking, it's all about becoming your own banker and controlling your finances. Mm -hmm. So this question really addresses rule number one, which is how can I save more money? And that just has to do with understanding your expenses. And Darius said, rule number two is pay yourself interest. Mm -hmm. So we have to really understand where those payments are going. Are they going to the bank? Are they going to the car? Are they going to student loans? Mm -hmm. Whatever the case may be. And figuring out how to redirect those funds back to you. Which is the third rule to recapture. Amen. <laughs> awesome. So this is Darius and Carmen again with Wealth Nation. We just wanted to come to you guys and answer this question from um, Instagram. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. And uh, we ask that you please subscribe to our YouTube page and also follow us on Facebook and Instagram at wealthnation.io.
Thank you for watching. This is Wealth Nation. Own your own lifestyle or someone else will.